How's it going guys? I'm going to show you how to put RTX and shaders onto Minecraft. First off, we're starting off at Bedrock. Go down to the search bar, look up system information, click on that. And then you're going to want to go to components and then want to go to display. And once you get to display, you're going to want to scroll down. And then you're going to be able to see which graphic card you have. And you need an NVIDIA RTX specifically for Bedrock. So once we close that and we found that out, we can open up the Minecraft launcher. All right, after the Minecraft launcher has loaded up, go into Minecraft or Windows. This is Bedrock. And then once you load that up, it's going to take you to the title screen. And you know that you're in Bedrock. You see the marketplace. Go down to the marketplace. Look up RTX. And this is another way that you can tell if you're able to do Minecraft shaders on Bedrock. It'll allow you to actually search these up. So you're going to want to look for which one you want. You're going to go up to one and grab it for free like this. And once you purchase it, you should be able to download it. And once you download it, and once that's all downloaded, you should be able to download the world itself. Like this one, this is the one that I'm going with. We're gonna create the world. You just pick your settings and then create. And then once you load into the world, you can already see the lighting's completely different. And then if you don't wanna do, deal with all this preloaded stuff in the world, you can always go into your settings and change it to creative and maybe fly somewhere else and start on new or use the resources that they already gave you but either way i think having these in bedrock is so nice and this is just saying that it may take away from the experience that you have from this world but that's totally fine because we really don't care we're just going to look around for now so i am going to change all these settings to creative so i can just fly around and just to let you guys know there is no other way to run rtx on bedrock other than these maps so you will have to deal with this initially when you do load up hopefully in the future they do add these as resource packs instead of maps themselves and you can already tell how the lighting looks different on the, to this block and over there you can see how the water looks and the main thing with these shaders for me is the water this is why this one's my favorite because i love how the water looks it looks a little bit in between of the original water but way fancier and if we go down you can see all the reflections underneath the little fish is swimming around and the reflection on top is so nice. Other than that, there really isn't much to it. After you already got this downloaded, you pretty much have RTX for the rest of your time here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna move on to Java. All right, we're gonna do shaders for Java edition, and we're gonna start off with our downloads. First thing we're gonna to wanna to download is Java if you don't have Java. And we're gonna to wanna to do it for Windows because I have a Windows, and we're gonna hit the download. Let that download and then go to Optifine, download the version that we want. We're gonna download 1.20 for the example. And then this is my favorite shader, shout out to the boy. And then we're gonna go down here and choose the version that we want. And we're gonna download that as well. Another one that you may need is Java Fix. You don't necessarily need Java Fix, but I'm gonna download it anyways. What this basically does is put all the Java files in one place. So just in case if Optifine does not work, this will fix the problem. So we're gonna drag all four of those down here. And then the first one that we're actually gonna start off with is Java. So you're gonna to want to run Java as usual. So once you click that, it should have a pop-up and then do all that. And then when that's all done, we're gonna actually go load up Optifine next. Also, by the way, if you haven't opened up the version of Minecraft that you have downloaded with Optifine, this will not work. You'll get this error. So you're going to at least going to have to open up that version of Minecraft at least once. So you're going to go down to the Minecraft launcher. You're going to want to load up Minecraft Java edition. So we're going to open that up in the Minecraft launcher. We're going to want to go to the version that we're downloading, load that up. And you're going to want to go at least to the title screen like this. And once you got that done, you are all good to go. You can download Optifine and you're gonna open up the Minecraft launcher once Optifine is all downloaded. And you're actually gonna go into installations and you're gonna wanna turn on modded or otherwise this won't show up at the title screen right here. So we're gonna click on Optifine and I did 1.19 specifically for my world because I haven't upgraded it yet. So let's just load that up. Once you get to the title screen, go to options, then resource packs, and then it should look like this, except for no shaders will be here. You're going to want to open up the pack folder right here. Then the folder is going to open up on your desktop. You're going to want to drag in that unzip file of the shader in there, close that up. And then once you got closed up, go back to Minecraft, and then you're going to want to put the resource pack in selected and make sure it's on top of the default like this. 
and then you should be all good and then you're done and then just start up a world and once you load up you can tell if your shaders are working or not if they're not double check and make sure that all your versions are the same including optifine your shaders and minecraft i know certain shaders can work on other versions of minecraft but just to be safe it may be your problem if that doesn't work you may have to download java fix hit that and that usually solves the problem i'm just going to show you a couple different lighting dynamics in this shader specifically i think it's the best thing about this shader also including the water is also amazing on this shader so i'll show you guys a couple shots i think the shader makes you look at things that you usually wouldn't pay attention to not only are the lighting effects are great in between blocks like this the rain effects are even better they actually create little tiny puddles of water on the floor that actually reflect light and other things like the clouds like right here you can see all the lanterns reflecting onto the wood right here the worst part about probably the shader is the crying obsidian i hate how it looks also the totemo and dine isn't great either besides that this shader is amazing even when the sun comes out it will dry out the rain and create other little water puddles around the world which look really awesome and speaking of water my next favorite thing is the ocean these water ripple effects and the way that everything looks outside of the water is absolutely stunning the other lighting effects are really really good too it just makes you look in different nooks and crannies that you usually wouldn't another nice little touch is the torch actually lights your way so you don't have to keep placing them down just everything being so dark gives you a little bit of appreciation for the little light that you do see it makes you care about things you usually don't care about like these glow squids and that's my tutorial how to put on shaders and rtx onto minecraft hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this helped let me know if you guys have any questions see you next time